Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Last time we did a few things, uh, we, well, we, we found a few, from what I remember, we found a few things in the, um, Fears area, then we went over to, through the forest, and we fought the end. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of expecting the end to be a bit of a longer fight, but I, I apparently the SVD does loads of damage, so meh. Um, anything of note before we leave here is that oh yeah, I guess next up we're gonna go. I believe it was to the north east of the forest there, so we can get um get to the mountain area, right? However, something I do want to note is that if you killed the end non-lethally, I guess by using your Mark 22, somehow, I don't know, um, he would drop his most into Gaunt, which makes, which is basically a sniper, uh, it's a, a non-lethal sniper rifle. And what that means is that it makes a certain boss later on in the game a lot easier. But it's fine, even if we don't have it, because we can still kind of um, go from there. Oh, come on, really? I left the game for like, what, a day and it's stuff's already rotten? Like, oh my god, this is annoying to do every time. I mean, at least I know, at least I know how to hunt food and such, but yeah. Rabbit is out of the picture. Can I get this? Of course I can. Okay. Let's throw some of these out. By Markhor. By Markhor. By Reticulated Snake. Um. I wonder if you can hear my fan in the background. Let me turn it down a sec. And there. Okay, sorry. Hopefully you guys won't hear my fan that much anymore. Let's continue. Where the... What the... Oh, okay. Alright, um... Do I have any more rotten food? No. Didn't I just throw away the... Wait, wait. Didn't I just throw away the rabbit? I did not. Okay. There. That's literally what I do whenever I'm getting rid of food. I just pick it up and throw it out. Ugh, whatever. I probably could to be fair, I probably could have still eaten that food actually. Let me actually stun this one. Cause I believe if we stun them Oh no, okay. Yeah, so it's only certain animals you can actually stun and take with you. The rest you have to literally just kill if you want to take their food, so <sighs> it sucks, but hey. Whatever. Anyways, what direction am I supposed to be going on to find the exit? Ah, uh, this one. Okay. Oh, come on. Uh, Alright, let us continue. I think I'm probably going to use the Mark 22. Is it? Is it Mark 22? Whatever. I'm probably going to use that this because... For the rest of the game, because it literally just one shots enemies, so I don't have to aim for the head. You know, so. Anyways, here's the tunnel in question. If you try to come here before, during the end fight, it will be closed up, and uh, you wouldn't be able to get through. So, let's go through. And I believe, I think, funnily enough, we're like more than halfway done through the game. Or maybe this halfway point, because we still have a good distance left, so I think this might actually be the halfway point of the game, which is crazy when you think about it. Ah, yes. This. Sorry, was I too loud? Sorry, I, sh I should probably back up from the mic, shouldn't I? Because I saw a lot it was last time. Searching and I'm melting too 
<laughs> All right. Let's, let's continue. There are a few rats in this area if you want something to eat. Plus, I think there are a few more Markhorns in the past there, too. So, yeah. Let's head to the mountain base. Krasno Gorgi. Or Gori? I don't, I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce I need to figure out how to pronounce Russian, actually. Anyways, this area is not for this. It's for camouflage. It's a mountain area. So, I think what it means is the chocolate chip um, thing should work well. So, this. There. Always got to make sure your camo's up to date. Huh. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, crud, okay. It's this area. I think there are some enemies in here. Yes, there is. Also, a lovely little snake there, so. Ooh, a vulture. You can actually kill that and eat it. Matter of fact, I might try it. What the? Oh, come on. It is beyond me how I missed that shot. Seriously. My tiptoes. That's one down. I'm not sure. I, I can see it big on my screen, but I'm not sure if you guys can actually see it. This area is a bit long, so I think what we'll do is we'll... I guess kind of move our way through it. Let me take this guy away from everyone else. No way to wake him up, seriously? Alright, after he gets up, we'll grab him. Speak. If you get stung by scorpion, use serum. Speak. On the mountains? Yes. Chocolate chip camouflage would be effective. Thank you. Speak. Oh, crud. Freeze. So I just saw that. Sorry, wow. Yeah, rocket launcher? Who you think you is? Alright, let's keep going. Man, I had a whole rocket launcher. What was you gonna do? Yeah, see? I can literally just snipe people from far away, knocking them out as we go along. I wonder if that's an easy, just an easy mode thing, or if that's just how the Mark 20 something works. Whatever. How do we get to... Ooh. What? I just saw someone. He must have moved. Whatever. I'm gonna get out of here. Alright, so. This point is important. Because, if I remember... Yes. There are people here. Many... Ooh! Okay. Great, great, great. So. Remember when I said... Remember when in episode, I believe, uh, four or so, that when we blew up that helicopter? Well, funnily enough, because we blew up that helicopter, those guys, the hoverboard guys, are now here. If we did not blow up the helicopter, then we'd have to deal with the helicopter flying around the area, bothering us all the time and such. It, it would be pretty annoying to deal with. So, we just decided to do this. What the? Can I not hit people from this radius? What is that? It's weird. Whatever. Anyways, map will be the same. You'll have you'll have these areas where you can sit down, you can crouch down and be safe from people walking by, or even the helicopters, really. You should probably keep your stuff on. 
There are all these little holes you can kind of dive on into. They do help. Because you can actually just sneak around without having to worry about, um, you know, potentially getting caught or anything. And there's a snake. Because, of course, there's a snake. Back off. What's in here now? I think this is upstairs. Or at least I remember it being upstairs. Yeah, it is. Okay. Usually there's people coming here. Okay, let's get that guy down. Now. Crash. Crud. Let me go in here. Patrol here. It appears we've been infiltrated. Commence alert formation. There. To be fair. Okay, crazy thing. If you just come in here and stay here, you don't have to do anything because as long as they don't see you walk into this little cave thing, no one's going to What's the word? No one's gonna catch you, no one's gonna do anything. As, because you're not visible to them, they're not gonna like look around and see. Ooh, is there someone here? No. Oh no, or anything like that. No, they're not gonna do that. As long as you stay in either a vent or an area that can't be accessed normally. So really, all I can, all I need to do is just get the motion detector and just kind of sit here and wait for the alert to go down. So that's what I'm gonna do. See you all in a little. All right, I think we're back. Um, I heard someone say what's wrong. Oh, crud, 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 crud! Someone just started walking in here. Yeah? Okay, there. Whew, sorry. It's just, the thing woke up, back up, and, oh my god. Anyways, seems like they're walking down now, so. I think if I stay here, I can probably shoot their feet when they're coming back up. Yeah, they send like a team of guys down. I don't think any of them, they like, they're scriptures go in the caves but if we stay here I don't think they'll look for us and I think that's mostly because of um our camel being so high I hear their footsteps so looking at the thing I think they're up there somewhere because I hear their footsteps but I don't see them in person I saw some of them walking in but uh, whatever let me go kill that snake because it is gonna be a problem for me if I have to deal with it any longer there and I can eat it if I get hungry. So it's like a double win there. Alright. I will sit here. And I will wait here. Because I don't think they crawl inside the stuffs. So... Should be fine if I just stay here like this for a little longer. Maybe get something to eat before they, because even if even if we take out the alert signal, they're still gonna have the warning signal, which means people are still gonna look around and say, "Oh, so what's happening here?" A right white white rumped vulture, huh? 
Hmm. Okay. I think even after this caution thing gets lifted, there's still a warning sign, meaning people might still spot me, right? Oh no! Guess I'll just have to find a hole to hide in every time I destroy one of those things, huh? Anyways, though, I think I should be good from here. Either I should take him out permanently, or... Okay, good. The recording is not paused. That is good. I was actually scared for a second there. The Ooh, you could totally hide in here if you need. Ooh, a small little, like, vent area looking place to hide into if you want. Let's make our way up. But yeah, wow, there's like literally all of these small little vents. I think that's probably because you, this place was designed for like the helicopter. So you can use these to like hide from the helicopter if you need. But because we kind of took out the helicopter, we didn't really need to... Huh. I don't particularly see anyone in this area. What's up, bro? Yeah, was he like, was he just behind the stuffs? Like, I don't understand that. Ooh, like a scorpion. Let me go up and round his things. Ah, uh, yes. This area. Let me knock you out. I believe this area is also full of... I think this area is also full of like weapons and more stuff. If you need, of course. Yeah, portable rocket launcher! What the what? Oh crud. Sorry, man. Let's head in. Our seamates, bunch of rations that don't really have much use to me. Let's let's there. I think these are all rations, aren't they? Huh. Let me go to my. Let me eat one of the Mark <sighs> Alright. I wonder if I should turn down my, my mic a bit because. Yeah, I'll turn down at like 10 decibels. So. It's now at minus 18.4. Yeah, they're all rations which taste awful but don't expire, so. Whatever. Let's continue forth. To the Krasnogorje mountaintop. Whatever that means. Yeah! Another helicopter! Alright, let's start off by taking out all the... Fudge. 
Okay, no, no one noticed that. Going back down. Ah, crud, we gotta get back under there. When the helicopter comes, you gotta get back down because. Yeah, it'll catch you. And I think there are people inside these little nookies here, too. That is where we have to go. But not yet. We gotta get to the top of the mountain before we can do that. Another this area. Another food area? Oh no, this is for weapons. <sighs> that was close, Jesus. Let me get down here. Because the helicopter is going to come back shortly, right? No, you might actually be able to shoot it down now. I think about it with the RPG you just got. So, maybe that can work? Maybe it can't? I don't know. But what I do know is there is where we're supposed to go. Let's meet back up with Eva, shall we? Went a lot better than I thought it would. just that playing these two roles hasn't left me much time to sleep. Where'd you get those cuts? The Colonel. He found out? If he knew, I'd be dead already. No, this is his hobby. He's a sadist. He gets pleasure out of making people suffer. All on the back, though? <laughs> Does it look that strange to you? No. I'm the same way. Scars all over. Can I see? No. Where'd you get this one? I got it after defecting to the Soviet Union. I don't think so. It's older than that. Code breaking is a desk job. Where'd you get this kind of scar? You really want to know? Hmm. Well, too bad. A girl's got to have some secrets, you know. But enough about that. You've got to get going. The phase two trial of the Shagglehot is about to start. And it looks like someone might be coming to spoil the party. Khrushchev? His forces are on their way here. The Colonel is gathering his troops together to meet them. If we don't get a move on, the security will be even tighter than it is now. You'll need this key. It unlocks the door to the underground tunnel. Once you're in there, you can follow the tunnel to get inside Groznygrad. Better take these two. They should come in handy. And take this too. 
What is it? The food of the future. A well-balanced meal for the space age. It's good to eat some real food once in a while. I'll bet if I kissed you, you'd taste like a wild beast. Do you know where exactly in Groznygrad Sokolov is located? He's in the heart of the fortress, the weapons lab. The weapons lab is divided into three wings. Three. There's the east wing, which houses the research facilities. Okay. Then there's the main wing where the weapons are assembled. Uh -huh. That's where the Shagohod is. Finally, there's the west wing, which is connected via a passageway to the main building. That's where Sokolov is. Hmm. To get in, you'll have to enter the main wing from the east wing. Then, go through the passageway on the second floor of the main wing. The west wing of the weapons lab. Got it. There's just one problem. Not again. The west wing is protected by the highest level of security. You need to be colonel class to get in. Colonel class? Here, look at this picture. Major Ivan Rydenovich Rykov. Pretend you're him. Rydenovich? Really? That. Steal his clothes. You look similar from behind. They won't know the difference. Your face might be a problem, so you just have to figure something out. He should be somewhere in the east wing. All right. But how am I supposed to escape once I get Sokolov out of there? Command said you're supposed to have something ready for me. And I do. There's a lake 30 miles north of here. I hid a wig there. A wig? It's a state-of-the-art ground effect vehicle. A ground effect vehicle? I can't fly one of those. That's okay. I happen to be an excellent pilot. Taking off from a lake is trickier than it looks. It's not like riding a motorcycle. You've got to be more delicate. Of course I will. You've seen how good I am with the bike, right? Right. You handle the escape then. I'll head for Groznygrad. Wait a minute. There's something I wanted to ask you. What? What's the story between you and the boss? She was like a mother, and my master. And your lover? It went deeper than that. Deeper? Half of me belongs to the boss. Do you love her? No, nothing like that. Do you hate her? Does it have to be one or the other? Love or hate? Between a man and a woman? You bet. For ten years, we lived and died together. You couldn't possibly understand. And you think you can kill her now? Huh. That's your mission, isn't it? Assassinating the boss? Snake, is there anyone you like? Someone special? I've never been interested in other people's lives. You were interested in the boss. She was different. Really? How do you feel about me? I should be asking you the same question. Me? I can fall in love if it's part of the mission. Even with you. <sighs> Snake?
What's wrong? That sounds like something wrong. See you around, Snake. Take care of yourself. What about you? I've got to hurry back and play my other part. Are you going to be okay? Not sure. They're not stupid and they know there's a spy. There's no way you could have gotten this far all by yourself. Hmm. All right, let's see what's what. Okay, seems like your standard. Oh, there are tanks there. Seems like an enemy base. Uh. <laughs> When you shock someone that much, of course they will. Oh, that guy, the wasn't the spy. Yeah. Look at this. A transmitter? Exactly. Planted to keep someone informed of his location. Oh, that's why he. That's why he perked up when he said nice shoes. But does this mean Granin was the spy? Perhaps he was being used by someone else. Perhaps. This man was our comrade. Comrade or not, he's of no use to us now. I don't approve of your methods. I don't need your approval. I'm in command here. And that nuclear shell? Still feeling sore about that, are you? What are you going to do? Report it to the authorities? This is war, Major. A cold war, fought with information and espionage. We must root out spies wherever they hide. It is kill or be killed. Potential threats must be weeded out. Your feelings are a menace to the unity of our organization. Someone is guiding the enemy's hand. A single man can only accomplish so much. Make no mistake, there is a spy among us. But casting suspicion on our own comrades. The C-3 explosives have been stolen. You think it was the American? No. He could not have reached this fortress yet. Then, who? I'd be careful about suspecting your own men. Boss! Where have you been? The fear and the end have fallen. Damn it! <laughs> CIA dog? That leaves only the fury. How can the legendary Cobras be beaten so easily? He's good. Fallen for him? Don't worry. I'll take care of him. What is he after? 
must be more than just Sokolov. America is out to destroy the Shagohod and get its hands on your inheritance. The Philosopher's legacy. Huh? Impossible. The legacy, it... Then they're out to kill me as well. Colonel, tighten the security on this place. He's coming here, I'm sure of it. I'm gonna get the Davy Crockett. boots make sure you polish them up properly I guess let's make our way to Krosnygrad. Yeah, you have to actually head back. Um, there was another red door we saw just before we walked in here. That's the only one we gotta go through. So, that is what we're going through. Is my mic on? Yes, it is. Great. Sorry. Uh, I just I just realized uh, before my mic my microphone was not on. So, eh, whatever. In here, some more stuff. Of course, if you want more food, let me try the ramen because we already have multiple of these. So, yeah. And these ramens, if you do well, might actually last you to the end of the game. Spider here if you need more food. But, yeah, just kind of get all the food you need to here. And once you're done, you can lay you. Ah, ooh. Do I want... I think what I'll do coming up for what's coming up is get some claymores up. I need my SVD and maybe an RPG. I don't know yet. Let me get the claymores because I know those are... I'm probably going to have to use those to be honest with you. And uh, what is under here again? SA bullets. SVD bullets. Bullets all around. Nice. Alright. Let's get out of here. Alright, so I think I don't think there's too crud. I remember what's happening next. Uh okay, I think I will keep going for ever so slightly longer. Let's go now. Yeah, they was behind me. Whatever. Whenever you go to, whenever you go to the next area, the alert goes down. So. Whew. That was close. I guess they must have seen me behind or something like that, huh? Whatever. Anyways. Let's keep going. Uh... Oh, okay, 
sorry. I have like, I feel like something was gonna pop up behind me for a second there. What's happening here? And who are you? Yeah, to kill a few bats, really? I am the fury. The flames of my rage will incinerate you. I came back from space. As I returned, I had one vision. The world set ablaze. And do you know what I saw there? Fury. A great and terrible fury at being alive. You're going to feel the scorching heat of that horrible blackness. Alright, so, first things first. Crud. The Fury. Need to find them first before we can actually hurt them. So, thermal goggles are good. Um, something I am going to use, though, is a bit of a cheat. If you beat the Fury non-lethally, you get the fire camouflage. What this does is it reduces flame damage by half and explosion damage by half, which is intensely useful in this fight. Am I speaking too loud? Whatever. Anyways, yeah. It is intensely useful in this, yeah, fight. So, I'm going to use it for this fight. Um, step one is to locate the fury. Without the fury, locating you. I like standing up here. That way I can kind of see. Anyways, once you locate the Fury... No! Because then you'll just, you'll just kill me, won't you? Yeah, where is he? Where is he? Ah, oh, crud, crud, crud. I don't know where he is. He jumped. Okay, I think I know where he is. He'll come out through there. Maybe I'll switch to a different camo, because I want something that gives me a bit of cover. That way he doesn't just immediately see me and figure, oh, there he is right there. There you are. Crud. 
Ugh, oh god, okay. When you're on fire like this, just stop, drop, and roll. Okay, let me put back on the fire camel then. Because if it does that much damage, I probably shouldn't be wearing it. Ha ha. I blame suited Chris. Is that it? Yeah? Doesn't he have a... I think he has like a second... A special move where he like... He says... Lift off in 3, 2, 1... And then he just jets off in that direction. Doesn't he do that? Sorry, is this... Okay, yeah. There. Yeah... Where is he? Bro? Yep. What was that? Yeah? Hero? I mean, do I not have a machine gun ready? Yeah? I don't have any machine guns ready? Why do I not have... Wow, am I weird. Ah, uh, fine. AK-47, thank you. Kindly come along. I'm gonna hit you out of the sky. There it is. So yeah, he does have a move. If you... Get him low enough to where he does lift off in three, two, one, and then jets oh. off in that direction. Just get out of the this way when he does end. that, so yeah. You've got to live on. You're the only one left. I'm off. To join the shot. Right. Well, anyways, now that that's over with, I think now probably is the best time to end this because we're like 50 minutes in. So I guess we'll kind of talk to everyone, see how we're failing, and see what to do. So, 
Uh, let's do that, shall we? Major Zero, anything to report? You defeated the Fury, huh? Yeah. That only leaves. I haven't forgotten. Good. But your first priority is to get Sokolov out of the fortress. Right. A ladder at the end of that underground tunnel should take you up into Groznygrad. Once the Shagohod is completed, there's no telling how long they'll let Sokolov live. You've got to hurry. All right. Let's talk to Paramek and Sigint next. I see you've captured a white rumped vulture. Ooh. The white rumped vulture is a type of vulture found in India. Its diet consists mostly of dead animal carcasses. I don't think it'll attack you, but it's a fairly large bird of prey, so you probably won't be able to capture it alive using the tranquilizer gun. Got it. But there is something here that's bothering me. What is it? They say the white rumped vulture doesn't just eat animal carcasses. It eats human ones as well. Is that so? Yeah. So then if a person eats a white rumped vulture, does that mean he's eating human meat too? What do you think? Yeah, you had to tell me that after I ate one. <laughs> you know, funnily enough... Um... Funnily enough, there is a nice little interaction in regard to that later on, so... That's nice. Um... What is it? Okay. You know what? Let's go with... Let's see. What weapon can we use this time? Ah, uh huh. Uh huh. What can we use? What can we make Sigint talk about today? Let's make him talk about the RPG. We never actually used it. We probably could have just used it against the fear. But when you're on very easy mode, well, everything's easy. Oh yeah. Also, um, if RPG, if RPG is just like the sniper in that it's it, you have to stand in place while you use it, and um. You can only aim with it and such by moving the sticks. Though it does fire an explosive rocket instead of a precise sniper's bullet. So, yeah. Let me eat another, I guess, vulture or markhor. Let's do another vulture. Alright. Now then, uh, I guess let's talk to Sig and, uh, let me, let me have a the RPG in my hand, that way he can actually talk about it. You say Granin's shoes were rigged with a transmitter? What? Yeah. That sounds like something the KGB's been working on lately. Huh. It's exactly like you described. A miniature transmitter that's small enough to put in a shoe. Granin said he got the shoes from a woman called Tatiana. You think she's a KGB spy? Could be. Or maybe it's some kind of ploy to throw suspicion on you. Anyway, it's your job to find out. Good point. Alright. Anything else, sir? Sigint. Yo! Eba said she set up a ground effect vehicle for us to make our escape. So I heard. The ground effect vehicle, or WIG, is something like a cross between an airplane and a boat. It uses ground effect to fly. Ground effect basically means that when the craft skims the surface of the ground, the air between the ground and the wing is compressed, which gives the wing an extra boost. From what Western intelligence agencies have been able to gather, the Russians are pretty serious about developing these wings. Apparently, they're planning on using them for anti-submarine patrols. I guess I can see why. The WIG's long cruising range and high-speed capabilities make it a good choice for that kind of mission. Eva must have gotten her hands on one of the first prototypes while it was being field tested as a transport craft. The WIG has a top speed of over 400 miles per hour, and its range is pretty good too. Not that speed is going to help you if you've got a supersonic fighter jet on your tail, but if you hug the surface and stay off the radar, you should have no problems getting away. Huh. Alright then. Ah, uh, I guess we'll try one more time. You're using yeah, an RPG-7, huh? The RPG-7 is a state-of-the-art, portable anti-tank weapon developed as the successor to the RPG-2. Bit of a jump, it isn't it? It first saw active deployment in 1962, year before last. Actually, maybe portable is not the right word. The launcher and the grenade together weigh over 20 pounds. 
It's not something you can use on the move. When you equip it, make sure you use first-person view to aim. Got it. You can fire it as soon as you're in position, but if you use the aim button to look through the scope, you should be able to get a pretty accurate shot. Then just use the weapon button to pull the trigger, and the propellant will shoot the grenade out of the launcher. Immediately after that, stabilizer fins will deploy from the back of the grenade. After it travels about 35 feet, the rocket fuel inside the grenade will ignite, accelerating the grenade towards its target. Even if it doesn't hit the target, the safety mechanism will kick in and cause it to self-destruct when it exceeds the target range or after a few seconds of flight. The warhead is made of the plastic explosive heat. It's capable of penetrating up to 13 inches of armor. That should be enough to shoot down a heavily armored attack chopper. Oh, one more thing. The rocket fires when the grenade first starts its descent, so don't try to fire it real close to the ground. So you can't use it from a lying position. Right. Don't forget that. I won't. Alright then. Good to know. Uh, let's save. Saving the game, Snake? That we are. I guess I will save in, uh, what? The option, the third column now, I think it was? 721, 722, 801, so... Wait. 720... Did I record the last two videos like two days in a row? Jeez. Look at me on a roll. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's see. So I guess this one's next. Alright, so, what movie is... Did I say Mei Ling before? Whatever. What movie is Paramedic gonna talk about? Snake, have you ever seen On the Beach? No, I don't know it. It's about the survivors of the Third World War. The entire Northern Hemisphere is obliterated in a nuclear holocaust, and it's only a matter of time before the few survivors left in the Southern Hemisphere are poisoned by the deadly fallout. Their only hope is an American nuclear submarine that escapes to the Southern Hemisphere. They set out for the Arctic to investigate the fallout. The movie came out in 59, and the year that the war was supposed to happen was 1964. In other words, this year. Nice warning. Let's hope it stays just a movie. Alright then. So, I guess that's it. Um, next time, we are going to infiltrate... What was it? Grozny Grad. Then we will... I guess, infiltrate the place, take out Rykov, was it Rykov? I don't know, uh, Rydanovich, whatever, take out, take out Ryden, okay? And, I guess, rescue Sokolov. So, I guess that being said, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.